Hi, I'm Tim Travis of Xbox Reviews and Verdicts, and today I'm reviewing The Walking Dead from Telltale Games. Zombies are everywhere. They're in our games, in our movies, but The Walking Dead series has infected comic books, later inspired a TV series, and now has its own episodic series of games. This was easily one of the biggest surprises of 2012. Zombie games generally fall into the action category, but Telltale somehow made point-and-click downloadable titles work out to be one of the most memorable zombie experiences in recent memory. The Walking Dead game was broken up into five downloadable episodes, but you can now find it on disc at retail for $30, and I'm gonna review it. So what's the verdict on The Walking Dead? Let's find out. <laughs> First off, while this story does take place parallel to the events of the comic and TV series, you can play this self-contained story without any prior knowledge of the fiction and not feel like you're missing out on something. The first episode, A New Day, begins with the game's protagonist, Lee Everett, a convicted killer being sent to prison. Before long, he escapes after the police cruiser he's held in crashes into a mysterious figure. I think we all know where this is going. The zombie apocalypse has begun. Early in the first act, you will be introduced to Clementine, a young girl whose parents are missing, leading Lee to take care of her for the duration of the series. Otherwise, there will be a larger cast of survivors you will work with to stay alive. This is the game's strength. Telltale might be even better than Bioware at character development. These guys will transform into completely different people by the bitter end. You could meet someone on good terms, but by the end, everyone is emotionally battered, bruised, and maybe even outright hate you or others in the group. It's up to you to not only stay alive, but keep everyone sane. Just about any of these personalities could easily be the best new video game character of the year. Telltale handles them that well. But the emotional center of The Walking Dead rests with Clementine, who Lee self-appoints as her protector. Clementine is the last good thing in a world gone horribly wrong. If you, the player, can't fall in love with her character, you simply aren't human. I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow? Did you do that? Yes. I'm keeping my review and the footage I'm using for it as spoiler free as possible, and if you plan on playing this, keep information on the story at a bare minimum. It's easy to expect terrible things to happen, but you may never be emotionally prepared to handle what's around the corner. This is the road of video games. There were times I almost broke out in tears. Don't be surprised if you do. Telltale's The Walking Dead is less of a game and more like an interactive story. The most gamey this gets is when you walk around small spaces to solve puzzles or strike up a conversation with your party. The combat is very scripted and only involves aiming a cursor at a target then press a button. Telltale makes this stuff pretty simple. They clearly don't want you to get hung up in combat and puzzles aren't terribly challenging. The point and click stuff isn't the bulk of the experience however. Conversations and decision making are what make this game so great. Standard stuff, press a button and Lee will say what you want. But unlike a game like Mass Effect, you only have so much time to make a decision and say what you want. Sometimes under this minor pressure, you'll react somewhat rashly, like one might in real life, and be forced to live with what you just said, which makes moments of high tension very effective. As for the decision making, and I will keep this as spoiler free as possible, but suffice it to say, it's morally difficult and don't be surprised if you find yourself hating the person you see in the mirror if you made a choice you aren't in the end comfortable with. Though you can rewind your progress to a previous chapter, there's otherwise no ability to revert to a save file within an episode. You have to live with the consequences, and there will be consequences for your actions. There are so many choices that it can be assured that your Lee will be different from mine. One interesting thing about this is that while The Walking Dead is morally ambiguous, there is nothing in the way of light or dark meters to judge you. There is no good or evil only survival and how others perceive you. It can be said that any game that gives you tough morality-based decisions all have the same problem. No matter what, the developers want you to get through the game and not punish you heavily for doing the so-called good or evil thing. So in the end, it arguably doesn't matter what you choose. 
Telltale almost has a complete workaround for this. Your party will treat you very differently based on what you do, and Clementine may have to see the horrible realities of survival. In this sense, your choices do matter despite the fact that in almost every circumstance, these characters have their fates sealed by the developer. However, since the storytelling is so exquisite and the characters are completely believable, I almost wish Telltale was a little more ambitious with how your choices impact future episodes and the ultimate ending. Too many things about the story are fixed to happen in a certain way despite your character's input in the events. One might be disappointed about the ending in this regard, but quite frankly, I'd rather have the developers take pride in knowing that no matter what, the end will be bittersweet than give us multiple endings with minor changes. Finally, the presentation. There's a good chance you noticed this game is cell shaded reflecting the series' comic book roots. I can assure you that the exaggerated art direction does no disservice to the dark and emotional storytelling, and in some ways it helps, namely how it makes characters, most notably Clementine, much more expressive. It looks great, and the music goes a long way to establish a somber mood. But on the technical side, things could have been ironed out a bit. Most notably, transitions from one shot to another during cutscenes can be rather jerky. But do yourself a favor and turn off notifications to fully breathe in this dark envisioning of a zombified Georgia. The Walking Dead is a stalwart example of what video games are capable of as a storytelling medium, and is not only one of the best licensed games of this generation, but also one of the best zombie or apocalypse games of our time. This isn't just one of the best video game narratives ever. This is one of the best stories told this year, period. Over the series' 10 hours of gameplay, Telltale can and will take you to some of the darkest places gaming has ever gone. Though there's nothing particularly wrong with the gameplay, that's not what you will come here for. However, if story is a huge component of your gaming experience, there is no alternative. You simply must experience The Walking Dead. Guys! There's something coming! Thanks for watching this review. Please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow the blog, and check out the Facebook page. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy my future videos.